Hi, welcome to Attention to Detail. Here in front of you is the Google Pixel 2 and I am assuming that if you have reached this video then you have already seen uh, the videos of the review from other famous tech YouTubers. However, uh, uh, I hope you already know the specs of this device. If in case you don't know, uh, you can just simply Google it. It runs a Snapdragon 835 coupled with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So uh, I have been using this device as my primary phone now since more than a month and I have used this extensively. So uh, they say that the Pixel 2 has got big thick bezels which is absolutely true as you can see on the top end and the bottom end. However, these bezels are housing front firing stereo speakers which basically let me just tell you they sound extremely well. They are the best which I have seen so far. I can just give you a small little demo over here. The sound that this phone emits is, is it's, it's, it's extremely good. So uh, that is the best I've heard so far and it's very crisp and it has got a little bit of bass too. Uh, uh, however, I sometimes do agree that this phone lacks a 3.5mm audio jack and it should have been there. Uh, most of my uh, audio is wireless but even then sometimes I just think that this, this is a bit odd to use. Uh, the camera is undoubtedly the best. One thing which people don't tell you is that it snaps a picture like did you just see the speed at which the camera took pictures there is absolutely no shutter delay this is the fastest I have ever seen in my life and there is no doubt uh, and even for the video when you make a video, the stabilization is so good that it feels as if the phone has been put on a gimbal, on a stabilizer. Uh, then uh, they said that the Pixel XL has some screen issues, which is true, but uh, there are absolutely no such issues on the Google Pixel because this is being manufactured by HTC and it uses a Samsung panel. Whereas the Pixel XL is being manufactured by LG and it is having an LG panel which is having those issues. Uh, there are absolutely no issues of such kind on the Pixel and uh, also some users have been reporting inadequate or imbalanced audio output from the top and the bottom speaker. That is also again completely untrue. Uh, the form factor of the phone, this is a very good material. I don't care what they say if this is plastic or metal, this feels really nice and it is not a fingerprint magnet. This part however is a fingerprint magnet but it's like it, it feels really good and uh, ideally even though I have got big hands, I think that the Pixel 2 size which has got a 5 inch screen is the ideal phone size. It fits the hand completely that you can simply use it with just one hand if you can see I'll just focus it a little bit. Uh, and uh, there is absolutely no issues with the form factor of the phone and uh, it has got this nice squeeze feature which initiates Google Assistant. I found myself often doing this while driving because you don't really need to look at the phone. You can just pick it up and ask for directions or anything of that sort. Uh, coming more towards what Google is offering. So there is one tiny feature known as now playing where the phone detects the audio and it tells you the name. Now the best part is that it works even when the phone is on airplane mode and the Wi-Fi is off even if there is no SIM card inside it still works and it works surprisingly well. And uh, the best part is if you are in a party, if you are in a restaurant where some sound is playing and you pick up your phone and you pick up your phone from the table you will see a notification about that song and you can also see that on the lock screen. Performance wise stock Android 8.1 flies absolutely no bugs. However this AR feature this is good to play around with. Stop right there. Okay I'll just stop right there. 
this is good to play around with but this is extremely battery inefficient if you I go to, if I go to my battery settings right now camera used for one minute and it used one percent of the battery if you use the AR feature for five minutes there will be a drop of five percent in the battery the AR feature is highly CPU intensive I suppose with the result it consumes a lot of battery uh, and as far as the battery life is concerned many tech re re reviewers I have seen they have been saying that the battery life is incredible somehow I tend to disagree I won't say it is very good but like I got a screen on time I have the screenshot 1% battery and the screen on time has been 6 hour and 40 minutes now I am not saying that the battery life is bad this is indeed a very good screen on time but if you use the phone more intensely then it drops down to 5 hour 40 minutes 5 hour 30 minutes and if you extensively use the camera it drops down to 4 hours again I agree that that is something which happens with every phone but my last device was a Moto G5 plus that had a Snapdragon 625 with 3000 mAh of battery that easily easily I'm telling you give me a screen on time of 7 hours and 30 minutes without any issues so considering that the Pixel 2 battery I suppose could have been a bit more other than that this phone is absolutely perfect I would simply say that this phone has got undoubtedly the best camera it fits the hand perfectly 5 inches of screen size is ideal if you want a best compact phone which has the best camera you need to go for the Pixel 2 and as far as the as far as the phone being not bezel-less is concerned at any point of time after having experienced this Pixel 2 I would choose front firing speakers instead of the phone being business. So that's it for now. Thank you.